Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, today we're going to be taking on the Telepath Tower side quest, but before we uh, begin that, well, we've already started it, but before we start to complete it, we want to make sure that everybody is immune to the following status ailments. Poison, disease, para uh, paralyzation, confusion, amnesia, uh, misery, and sleep. Those seven status ailments. So if we take a look at Jet, we don't have to worry about because... I mean, not Jet. Gallows, we don't have to worry about because he has Total Ward, which makes him immune to everything anyway. But for Jet, Virginia, and Clive, we need to make sure that they have it. So Jet right now has Poison, Sleep, and Paralysis protection. Virginia has Misery, Confusion, and Disease protection. And Clive has Poison and Confusion protection. So we need to make sure that we allocate gears to protect against that. It does not matter... What you do, as long as you make sure that each of those three characters are immune to all those status ailments, uh, because you can erase them after this part. You only need it for the leveling trick. I'm going to put them on the... on the less, uh, on the third, the slot three medium, and then move up, just because it'll make it more sim make it simpler to me. So, for example, for Jet, Poison sleep and paralysis so he needs let's go to moonspark here he has he needs a clear charm clear charm right right yeah he needs a clear chime so I just double check that and then I equip a clear chime and that should give him immunity to confusion as soon as I, assuming I allocate the points for it, but, so yeah, I'm going to take care of that to make sure all, all three of those characters are immune to the three elements, the three elements, the seven status elements, and I'll be right back. I've obviously saved before doing this in case you screw up. I'm back now, and, uh, I've equipped everything I need to equip. Let's see, Virginia is, uh, Jet, I'm sorry, is immune to all seven status elements. Uh, Virginia is immune to all seven status elements, uh, so is Clive. And Yalos has the total ward. So taking a look at what I ha got here, just for example on Clive. Yeah, he's uh, pretty full there. <laughs> so obviously in order to get, well he doesn't need elemental protection, but he could actually stay with these and be fine. But for example, Virginia, let's see, Hope Shard has one slot open. Terror Roar is full, and I believe Flash Hit is full, so obviously in order to get her all of the elemental protection, these things have to go eventually, so. But that's fine because we have status lock. I don't care about the status protection itself. It is useful for a leveling trick that I want to do to up my stats a little bit, just so I can do more damage. You don't have to level, but it's helpful, so. It's definitely, I think it's worth it. And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, in addition, there's also a money trick that we're going to be, it's, well, they're the same trick, but we need to upgrade our arms as well, and, uh, well, particularly Clive's arms. I'm going to do jets anyway, but you don't have to, but for Clive, for example, he needs 15 shot now, and uh, for jet, I'm going to go with the same. Um, yeah, you don't need more than two bullets, because... That's that's what a replay is. It's two shots. And he deals so much damage with that attack mark that who cares? Or comic mark. So anyway, let's uh we want to take on the first tower, which is in Laxus Land. It's the tower I have told you to reveal. If you did not reveal that tower, you can never do this side quest. It's bugged. It's not supposed to lock out at any time, but for some reason it does, and it's definitely a bug. So there we go. There's the first tower. This tower inflicts uh, amnesia on us, so... But I don't really care about amnesia, so... Oh well. <laughs> amnesia doesn't really do anything other than prevent me from getting experience, and honestly, who the hell cares at, at, at this point? So this is Telepath Tower number one. And these guys are a little powerful, admittedly. 
So we want to, well, not really, not powerful, but they're there. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta get full carrots at some point. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and extension status lock. I don't think I need to Virginia nuke, uh, but I may. I may not, depends on how I feel. Uh, they only are 25% susceptible to weaken, and they don't have enough HP to really warrant it, in my opinion. So, Yeah, these guys only have 6,900 HP. I'm not going to nuke them. There's one tower I might nuke, but not these guys. Now let's take a look at how that uh, how that Comet Mark uh, does with that attack boost. Yeah, they have some attacks. Whatever, I don't care. These guys are not really hard at all. I have a list of where every single one is. I expected more from that than that, Clive. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better. Jeez. You're slacking, Clive. Yeah, the, the comic mark uh, helps him out quite a bit. Oh, I forgot to put hyper on him, that's why. Okay, let's uh let's just do that, I guess. Nah, I don't really need you to do anything. Don't need you to do anything either. <laughs> let's just uh hyper. I always forget something. Yeah, that would inflict uh, amnesia on us, but status lock will prevent that from working. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh yeah, I gotta take off that turbo battle that I had on for uh, making farming go a little quicker. Even though I don't honestly notice a difference, I don't really know what the point is. It just seems to make it harder to cancel your turn, which is kind of strange. Um, I guess you can... Nah, I'm not even gonna bother. I don't think they have any weaknesses. If they do, I don't really care. No, no, they don't have any weaknesses. I guess you could curse and weaken, but that eh, takes too long. Let's try that again, shall we? That's better. 10,000, not even a problem. Now that's effective. Let's go to the next tower, shall we? And it is located at 49, uh, 28. Let's go to that X coordinate. Right around here, and we want to go down to 1500. Let's go this way. Or 15,000. Right around here. Let's see, 49, 28. That should be it. And these things will also appear on your map as well. In the telepath tower section. So let's take on uh, tower number two. In my notes, I actually planned to do this first, but I figured... Why not get the comic bar first? It'll definitely make these guys a lot easier. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's just... Might as well have Jet actually do something useful. We could cast Valiant, but not yet. Uh, maybe when Clive gets lower on HP, I'll do it, but not right now. I guess you can Mystic a full carrot. Extension status lock and hyper. These guys inflict disease on you, which, again, I don't particularly care for that. Really, uh, it's sleep that I care. But with extension status lock, you know, you're fine. You could extension permanence, but these guys aren't going to last long enough to really warrant it. Especially if you got best lock, which I recommend you use tiny flowers to get. Everyone's luck up to. Now, I will show off every single tower, even though they're all basically the same. I thought about editing them out, but 
Man, there's only like 20 of them, and it doesn't take that long. And technically they're boss battles, so I don't really want to do that. This is a long side quest. It's not just killing these towers, by the way. There we go, Clive. Yeah, just stick with dual shotting. Really all you need to worry about. Comic Mark is ridiculous. If Clive gets to about 1500 HP, uh, maybe down to nah, about 2000, yeah, I'll use Valiant instead of Hyper, but for right now, I'm going to use Hyper because it'll better than Diane right now. But they have to really gang up on him. Wow, that's really good. And attack plus always uh, happens, so it's really good. It's easily one of the best uh, gears in the game. Now, there is a magic version of it uh, called the Necromicon. It basically does the same thing, but for magic. And it works even for the heal spell, which is kind of weird because the heal spell doesn't actually use FP. So, I don't really know how it manages to multiply the damage from that, but it does. Well, I'm not even sure why heal doesn't use FP at all, considering it's just a reverse damage spell, if you think about it. But anyway, uh, the Necromicon, unfortunately, is not as easy to get as... I'm leaving the map up so you can see the coordinates of where I'm going. And I totally forgot what I was saying. All right, let's take uh, take this guy out. Okay, let's uh, might as well shoot. Ah, it really doesn't matter actually. I don't really care. <laughs> See status lock. These guys, I think, inflict. Yeah, they inflict poison on you, which, again, I don't care. Yeah, you can buy an attack plus with fragile and hyper. That's uh, pretty ridiculous. But just hyper is enough. Now, later on, these guys might actually start to survive a couple of attacks, and then I'm going to want Valiant, so. But for right now, we're okay. So I'm going to try not to rest at any ends, because I don't want... Clive, uh, restoring his H as MP, MP, HP, there is no MP in this game. And I think, uh, Gallus is pretty much faster than these guys, so I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, I didn't, uh, use replay. That's okay, it's still gonna kill this guy. And uh, it takes one. It takes one and a half, two and a half turns anyway. Nothing really hard about these guys. You got him, Clive. He's dead. Plus, uh, we'll be a little stronger anyway by the time we... That didn't kill him? Wow. Well, that's a bunch of crap. I thought for sure that would kill the guy, but... Okay. 
Okay, well that'll do it. Wow, 25,000 from a critical hit. And yeah, that works with Gatling, if I didn't say that already. It, uh... What the hell? Well, that's a little weird. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. Let's go take out number four. Just gotta go down to 6,000... I think 6,500. And then... Oh, we want to go down, actually, to about 9,000, which I believe is right near Little Twister. You think with all these weird alien towers around, people would be a little weirded out by them, but apparently not. Apparently this is just normal stuff. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Okay. Over here, I guess. There we go. Tower number four. Maybe I should edit out these guys, huh? Oh, I forgot to cast freaking Hyper again. I also forgot to cast uh, Extension Lock. Extension Status Lock. These guys cast Sleep on you, so that could actually be a problem. I really should have cast uh, Status Lock here. Oh well. I don't think I'm going to be able to cast Hyper now. Nope. I'm an idiot. Oh, I just replayed that. Whoops. Well, there goes uh, two perfectly good full carrots. <laughs> then again, I have so many of them. Do I really care? No, not really. Okay, let's uh, let's actually do what I'm supposed to do. That never happened. Shh, you didn't see that. Usually I reset the battle, but... Nah. Let's leave it in for once. Hey look, Hypnotizer actually puts you to sleep, uh, not like Tranquilizer, which somehow paralyzes you. Oh well, uh, let's see. Okay, now we can uh, take this guy out. Take these, well, take the ball out. I wish they were grouped together, but they're not. They have just enough HP to be annoying. That ought to do it. Yeah, I'd say so, considering that was uh, 30,000. Yeah, having 100 FP really helps. Do I need to replay this? No, not really, but... Then again, that one guy somehow survived. Yeah, don't be afraid to throw full carrots on Clive, especially, I mean, if you've... totally broken the game with gardening. There's a reason they really nerfed it in Alter Code F, to the point where it's basically worthless. They knew they screwed up. One more today. 800. I probably will edit out most... No, I'll show them all. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Let's see, 22, right here, I believe, or, what the hell, a um, little bit more to the right, okay, 
There it is. These guys have a little more HP. A little. Almost 10,000. You will need to use your horse to get to some of them. I suppose you could use the sandcraft if you wanted to do this earlier, but I wouldn't recommend it. It would be really hard to get the status protection you'd need to do the leveling trick. And you actually don't want to finish this side quest until you're all leveled and ready to go. Chair is awfully creaky. Sorry about that. Get a good old hyper going. This will probably go a little long because I want to go over something. Since I'm going to have to uh, do some farming and grinding off screen. Hopefully it doesn't take me longer than an hour, but I forget how long it takes. I would like to finish this all today. It's almost kind of sad to me because I'm thinking about it and I haven't played Wild Arms 2 since the Let's Play. It's almost as if I do the Let's Play and that, that's basically me putting the game away for good. It is. It's a little sad when I think about it. Because I doubt I'll ever play these games again. Like, I don't think I'll ever play Wild Arms 3 again. I mean, what else can I possibly learn about the game? I, I know just about everything there is. And I guess I can see myself playing Chrono Trigger again, but... I don't know. It's a little sad. But, anyway, that's, uh... Well, I guess that's it for today. Uh, what? What the hell? What the hell? This is creeping chaos. I, I guess he's an alien. I, I I don't know. But to deal with him, who has it? You have it, right? You just want to summon Brave Seal at 100 FP, and they'll they'll die instantly. And of course, you have to rest up to restore your MTC, but who cares? <laughs> but um. For these guys, we want to make sure that we're immune to poison, disease, amnesia, sleep, paralysis, disease, and confusion. So let's make sure everybody is immune to that. We also want Gala Boost. You absolutely want Gala Boost here. Okay, you got Total Ward up. Gala Boost. Not Earth Ward. And what do I need to reset? I don't need Water Ward anymore. Okay, we got that. And for Clive, he doesn't really need anything other than the status protection. Now the reason why I am doing this Is first of all, this guy is he's basically like the Hulk Gaiden from uh, Wild Arms 2, where he'll do not every status ailment in the book, but he has like a bad breath attack uh, that does these seven status ailments to everybody, so that's no good. But you could just use status lock and not have to worry about it. But let's see if he does it right off the bat. Let's take a look at this. We get a seven chain with that. Oh yeah, now that's kick ass. That basically increased our, the experience we're going to get from this guy by 0.7. Now this can go up to 0.9, to 9.9, .9, so essentially 10 times experience at the end of the battle. And you can encounter three of these guys. It takes 13 Arkin Seoles to get up to 9.9. .9. 
it caps out at that point. So the trick to leveling is to let them use Arc NCL, or let them use Arc NCL 13 times, and then you'll ha and then kill the guy by summoning Justine at 100 FP, which is Brave Seal. And you'll get a lot of a uh, lot of stuff for that pretty easily. Uh, we want Gala Boost. I almost forgot about that. He also gives a ton of money. Now I want to get the money first, so I'm not gonna do the leveling right now. But later on, if, when I come back, that's how I'm gonna be doing the leveling. And I'm gonna get up to level. 75 to 80 probably gonna get I think I'll stop at 78 with everybody I think that's a pretty good level I only care for it for the PS skills really but first I'm gonna get the money so to get the money let's say I just started the battle well I'm going to use a full carrot on Clive and let's summon uh, Brave Seal Make sure you have all those status ailments uh, set up as well, because yeah, you can get some experience along the way if he uses it. You could also use uh, a mini carrot from Jet Virginia to do the job on Clive there. Uh, that also does some stuff that I don't really care about. Oh yeah, confusion. So we use Justine attack. And what Justine does is it has a whatever percentage chance of killing the enemy instantly. At 100 FP, that percentage is 100%. Yeah. Didn't Justine actually kill somebody with that attack when she used it on me? I remember that happening, and I got really pissed. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you, uh, essentially, that's the leveling trick. Now, you might be thinking, well... How do you encounter that guy again? Well, that's pretty easy. You just go back to Basker Colony. Make sure you have Eagle Eye, which hopefully we do. We do not. We don't need Attack Blocker or Defender. Just Gela Boost and Eagle Eye, and then the Static Protection. I'm surprised I didn't get ambushed. We know what happens when I don't have Eagle Eye. Okay, let's just teleport there. I'm tired of <laughs> not getting there. Okay, so let's walk around for a little bit. See what happens. Hopefully it's a green encounter first, because I'd like to show this. Oh, no. Uh, see how it's a white encounter, despite being in Basker Colony? Well, let's take a look. What the? These guys weren't around here before. You can now encounter these guys anywhere in the world. So basically, you want to go to Basker Colony because they have the lowest migrant level, and you'll always get a green encounter if it's not them. Which I'll show you after this battle. But for now, let's full carrot and summon Brave Seal. Now, you'll still gain a lot of levels, even without waiting for the Ark and CLs as well. But once I have about 5 million Gela... I'm going to upgrade Clive and Jet's uh, arms to 15 shot. Oh, you can get rid of that. They have a ton of HP, by the way, so it's not worth killing them uh, normally. So, uh, once we get... I forget what I was saying. Once I get uh, 5 million Gela... I'll upgrade the arms to 15 shot for both of them. I'll initialize everything else, of course, other than the shot. And then I'll, uh, it takes about 5 to 6 million, somewhere in that range. I, I don't have the exact number, but... You, uh, you upgrade the arms. If you just want to do Clive's arm, that's fine. Leave Jet as is. But I just like to do Jet anyway, because you, know, you never know. He might counter and do some damage, so... I think it's not so much worth it, but I just like to do it. But it's totally really not really worth it, so... But you gotta do Clive's arm like that. And... Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And let's see if I can get a green encounter here. Nope, that's them again. That's them again. If it uses two or... Th if it uses three migrant level, it won't be them. They're pretty common, too, so... Come on, I wanna show this. 
Okay. It doesn't want me to show you this, but trust me, there will be green encounters, and you can cancel them, and it's not that... What the hell is going on? Well, this is a little bizarre. Okay, well, just take my word for it. If you see a green encounter, do not fight the, that green encounter. Oh, yeah, see? That's not them. That would have been a balloons, uh, the balloon enemies around here. So, what I'm going to do between this episode and the next, I'm going to do all the grinding. I'm going to get my arms up. You'll see me back at about level 75, 80. I do the money first, because that way I don't get the levels first, and then continue to gain levels and make the end of the game even easier than it already is. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll do my upgrading on screen once I get the money. And, uh, that way you can see the uh, just how much of a big impact the shot upgrades have for Clive and then Jet. And uh, next time we'll finish the Telepath Tower side quest. Well, maybe not finish it, but I'll show you. Hopefully we can kill most of the towers. Uh, but whatever. I'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. <laughs> so this is Ryzen signing off. Take care.